What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Dot .hack infection bonus videos. Today we're going to be covering up the last things that we missed. We're going to be playing tag with the goblins, the reward that you get for the goblins. We're going to take a look at the Zate statue, which is basically a giant time trial, but more importantly, we're going to be having a look at the other two Grunties. Um, I should point out, I had a shit time trial, I had a shit time trying to find the fucking uh, piney apples necessary to do this. If you, likewise, had trouble trying to find piney apples, go back to the field, um, where you met the fan base, the fan base that was trying to follow Gardenia. I think it was, like, soft, solitary tripansy in the Theta server. Uh, that had four piney apples there in the, uh, field pretty simple to get in like only two or three portals level 14 it's not too hard a uh, good place to get uh piney apples for it so i have a list of the stuff that we need for this and thankfully i have everything we need so first on our list we are going to want four piney apples next we are going to want how many snaky cactuses Three snaky cactuses. <laughs> and we are going to want how many? Twelve golden eggs. Enter the Iron Grunty. I must repay my debt to you. Clang! Who says, Clang? Master, how may I serve you? Although, he has some pretty decent stuff on him, all things considered. He also has aromatic grass for some reason, and scarab, uh, The scarab ear rings that were really good. Yeah, he's got some solid-ass shit on him, like, all things considered. I'm going to see if I can get this aromatic grass off him and give it to Mia or Elk. Uh, there we go. I think he'll have more stuff if we have him in the second volume. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably go talk to the Noble Grunty, see if he has anything worth uh, getting to him. We're going to have to like uh, basically lock in, lock out to get a new Grunty here. Uh, let's see, what have you got? You've got some stuff I could sell, but honestly, it's not worth trying to trade to get it with you. Or to, you know what, I'll just do it once just to see I've traded with you for the book. Uh, just to, just for the book, so... I guess the Silver scar Scarab, whatever. Uh... Here, you can have my Mage of Souls. There we go. For some reason, people always trade for those. Alright, log out. And we're not going to need a party for the rest of this because we can't bring a party to play tag with the goblins. And the Zate statue is actually better done by yourself. Speaking of which, I should probably pull to this guide the best place for the Zate statue. I also forgot that we weren't, that we didn't look at the other place. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. As soon as I... Uh, let's see, Ryu books, Ryu books, Ryu books... There's a lot of books. I don't have all these books unlocked yet because I didn't data drain a lot. Oh, that was the end of the guide. Uh, 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 that's the grunty stuff again. Which I'm going to actually need to pull this up real quick so I can actually look at what I need for this. Uh, oh, I should have probably scrolled up a little bit where it fucking said. Oh, no, those are for monster stuff. Never mind. Here we go. Alright. Let's get the final grunty before I start worrying about the uh, other stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to play too many uh, too, too many steps ahead. Because I'm always one card short. Always one day late. I've stacked the deck myself, so I have no one else to blame. I need just one more... I need one more move. One more chance to prove. That I can win this game. Alright, four piney apples again. Three snaky cactuses again. Uh. 
And the final step says that we can supplement any, almost any item except for the following three uh, to get the stats we need for the next Grunty. We can substitute with anything except for a Golden Egg, a Mushroom, or a Mandragora. So I have a shit ton of Ono Melons for some reason, so I'm just going to give it one. And finally, 11 Golden Eggs. Fully grown. This didn't go so well. Did I give it the wrong thing? To just turn it into a noble grunting. Golden egg gives in the iron range. Right, he's going after this deviation to get the size 30. Trade the armor Well, I fucked up somewhere. That's fun. I thank you, Clank. Goodbye, Clank. Goodbye, Clang. Clang, Clang. Well, we're going to take a look at that other Grunty off-screen as soon as I reload. Ribbit, ribbit! Oh, Master! Thank you! Ribbit! Thanks to you, I've become an adult! Ribbit! You've also become an unsightly monster onto uh, abomination onto God. This is the Poison Grunty, the other Grunty I was attempting yet. This time I just swapped out the Lepunkin for a Gruntment. And, yeah... I don't know why it rivets, and it terrifies me and will haunt my dreams. I must repay my debt to you, Ribbit. Master? It also has some pretty good stuff, if I'm going to be honest. But okay, well, with that stuff taken care of, uh, now... Let me quickly scroll through my guide, uh... Okay, so next on our list, we're going to take care of the Zate statue. Now, if you don't remember what the Zate statue was, it was something we briefly read about on the board. It's basically a time attack challenge that basically says, Okay, get uh, get to the lowest possible point. Uh, oh, excuse me. There we go. Uh, that says, basically, run down to the quickest point. Uh, and, uh, oh god, brain. I'm having total brain farts. Uh, uh, that's basically a time attack to get to the end, and you get bonuses for doing it. So, the quickest one for this is to go to Delta, and you will need some keywords, which thankfully we're at the end of the game, we have the keywords necessary to do this. is Chronicling Pagan Sunny Demon. So, can't bring, I don't think we can bring anyone for this, so. Uh, I need to figure out where Chronicling is. Chronicling, fuck was it? I immediately just, okay, Pagan Sunny Demon. Again, Sunny Demon. All right. Okay. <sighs> All right, and immediately cast a speed charm and take off. We don't want to get into any fight if we can avoid it. We want to get to the dungeon as fast as possible. Oh god, I've already wasted so much time. Bloody egg! Bloody egg! South. Bloody East. egg! South. West. And that's down. And just keep going south. Well, I should probably practice this. Practice this. Practice this a little bit before I did it. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I went the wrong way. I don't know if I'm going to make this on time. Oh god, of course they're fucking fire resistant. And I think the the gods the Zayt statue is in here, I think. Yay, I did it! Time sash, time bracer, time sandals, time blades. And there we go, that's the Zayt statue. And I'm going to be real with you, these uh, items they give you are not that good. They all have opto, which increases your speed. And I mean, they all have opto. I don't know why, but they do. Pretty much you're only getting this for collector for the collection reason. For one of the Ryu books, that's literally it. Otherwise, they're meh weapons. Very meh. But yeah, now we can uh, now we can actually see our name on the leaderboard, which we will actually go take a look at very quickly before we actually we'll wait because we can play. Uh, we have to go back to the board anyways to play tag with the other goblin. So let's go take out the goblin next. With me, it's not a game anymore. Geomon, is that you? Or okay, hold on a second. I'm just gonna <laughs> charm. <laughs> and he's close enough. He dies now. There we go. He's dead. Wasn't much use in a game of tag. White cherry. Ooh, white cherries. I don't think I have these yet. I'm gonna take this chance to actually get these. There we go. That's amazing what happens when you're uh, a lot higher level than the enemy. They all have kind of like a, a build up to them, I think, except for the last. Uh, the last goblin. I don't think he has like a wind up to his speed. Anyways, that taken care of, we now have to go back to the board so that we can see if the next goblin challenge us. There we go. Just gonna wish before we talk about anything. Zate statue, there we go. Hero ranking. Master Supreme. Oh yeah, I beat that by like seven seconds. Suck it, Dalmung. Oh hey, Sieg had fourth place had third place. Nice. Had keyword whatever uh you guys are all wusses what does eavesdropping and food have anything to do with this gob i'm albert the early bird one of the four gob kings gob i've been up since 5 a.m come to detestable golden new truth at 6 a.m gob come alone gob shit hit the wrong button i don't know why it stops you on mail there we go Come on, come on, come on, load faster. I need to end this episode quick because I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know if this is the last one or not, or if we have one more. I think there's one more that's you fight after the end game, and I'm not sure if this one is it or not. Kind of lost count of how many goblins we've killed. Albert the early bird. I don't get up at five for nothing. Oh, 
Ah, oh, damn, he just got out of my range. He's fast. Feeling most of my uh, magic isn't gonna work on him because I guess that would defeat the purpose of tag. But I'm gonna actually now. Oh come on! I'm just gonna actually pull away from him. I think I got a hit on him. Damn, he's so fast. I'm not just fast. There we go. Actually, I didn't sleep much last night. Too excited. Sleep is good. All right, good talk. I don't know if I have root vegetables or not. God, there are a shit ton of fucking, uh... Uh... Mom, or, like, uh, grunty food in these, uh... Tag areas. I should just come here for all my crap. Alright, I don't know if that's the last one or not. I think there's a fifth one for the Goblin Blades, I think, maybe? Yeah, there totally is. Uh, oh no, they're all defeated, and I'm the only one left, Gob? Eek, scary Gob. I'll be at Detestable Golden Gate Gob. Come alone, Gob. <laughs> Come alone. Oh, I never would have guessed. Perish the thought that I would have to go it <gasps> alone. Alright, this one's going to be the fastest one. You have got to be fucking kidding me with that damage. Oh god, that's right. This one cast that healing spell on them. God. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like fighting this thing. It also doesn't help that I keep missing every attack. That's fantastic also. Now die. Oh, God. It's a lie. You obtained the imp's pen. God, that fight sucked. I had to literally go increase my attack damage and my attack accuracy, because as it turns out, my attack accuracy is 
doing not pretty good. It's like at 27, and basically none of my attacks were hitting. I could have equipped the Time Blades and gotten like 99 accuracy, but uh, not real worth it. So true to our word, with the M pin, something good does happen if you equipped all the Goblin series. Unfortunately, it means you have to equip all the Goblin series. You can't mix and match them. You just have to have all of them. There we go. So, equipment. Goblin cap. The goblin mail. The goblin gloves. The goblin boots. I'm going to store the time blades, because I don't really need them. As well as the time bracer and time sandals. There we go. Alright, I'll just go to a field to show what happens if you uh, equip all of them. Actually, I guess I could do it right here. With all of them equipped, you gain uh, Summon Goblin. Summon a giant goblin! Summons are a very rare magic in the game. Uh, like, they're incredibly powerful, high-level magic that can be done for single... I think there's... Either single target or area attack, and I can't remember which one. This is a pretty good early one to have, but the Goblin series is just not that good. As you noted, I had to give up my Scarab Earrings, which gave me uh, Law Rep and my Rip Mean. Which basically means I'm without a, uh, I'm without a healing spell and I've lost my Resurrect spell. And in fact, in return, I've gained pretty much just a bunch of questionable, uh, like, poison a target, eh, decrease target and any nearby member's wood element, eh, slow down a target, eh, and then this is from a, or, no, that's from something else. Curse a target, SP decreases with time, eh. You see, it's like, you don't really get a good trade-off for these. God, am I gonna have to actually just go into the dungeon so I can showcase this? I cannot find a fucking portal on here. Hold on, fucking fairy's orb. Show me a portal. There. Alright, so, skill. Summon goblin. But as you can see, the Summon Goblin does quite a bit of damage. It's also neutral damage. So, there's that. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't really recommend using this. Let's see if it actually does hit multiple people. Nope, single target. That's a pity. It is really solid, though, if you can, uh, and only cost- Oh, no, it is multi-target. They just weren't close enough. Alright, so yeah. Decent skill, I don't think it's worth it, though. But with that, that is all the bonuses to be found in Dot Hack Infection. There are probably some others with some trades and some stuff like that. Oh, right. I didn't talk about that other area. Uh... You know what? It's not really worth mentioning. It, basically, there's just an area that supposedly produces a bunch of high-level thunder stuff if you go to it. Um, the bulk of it is. Let me pull it up here, and I will tell you where it is if you are curious to go to it. I'm not going to showcase it just because I don't think I'm really get better than the blades I have right now. But if you yourself feel like it, the area is... Theta Chosen Solitary White Devil. According to this, it will generate all the highest level thunder armors at the Got statue and is a two-floor dungeon with only one magical portal between the entrance and the statue. Actually, if that's the case, I might try going there. So, the servers, cause fuck it, let's make this video as let's make this video as long as possible. God Statue will award one of three selected pieces of equipment each time the dungeon is exited and re-entered. I assume that means 
leaving the entire area and coming back? I'm not actually sure how that works. Because I reset dungeons just by leaving the dungeons, so I don't actually know. It is, what was it? Uh, chosen. Solitary. White to Devil. It is a level 30 area. That is pretty difficult. I can kind of see why it would generate this type of armor. Level 30? That's pretty tough. Alright, let's take our useful grunting because I don't feel like fighting with things here. Oh yeah, because I have no control over who I can summon. It just summons a grunty randomly. So we're on our faithful, disgusting abomination poison grunty. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Might as well grab these. I don't really need them, but fuck it. Might as well. What does Opgons do? Oh, to Earth. Oh no, I hear an enemy. Oh god, no! <laughs> I probably should have brought a team for this, but, uh, you know. Alright, so... Two floor with only one magical map between us. Or with only one portal between us and uh, the Got statue. That must mean my target lies to the right. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Not a big ass room though. I'm actually kind of surprised, uh, you know, the fucking goblin stuff doesn't apply Opto, the, uh, the speed spell, considering all their entire thing was about speed, but I guess that was saved for the, uh, speed stuff from the Zate statue, which I'll actually have to go max, uh, mix together later. Actually, this is the perfect time to try out, uh, oops, to uh, test out how well the Summon Goblin works against normal enemies. So let's find out. 284, that ain't bad for like 25, uh, 25 SP. That's actually really good. There we go. That one actually too bad. I'm going the wrong way. God statue is right over here. Thundercloak, silver scarab, rainbow card. Alright, equipment. Thundercloak. That is actually some really good defense. Although it's got nothing on my fucking, uh, Kageyuzen, but, you know, I guess if you just don't know where to find this rare light body armor, I guess that's good. I may be good, it gives me Rai Cruise, which would be a lightning spell, but, I mean, I still think my Kageyuzen is probably better. But, to be fair, that's just, I mean, that's just, uh... That's just all this in a nutshell, if I'm gonna be honest. There we go. So the goblin was uh the goblin was pretty cool, but and it worked pretty well, if I'm gonna be real, but in all honesty, eh, it's hard to justify equipping all of that and getting rid of such good equipment in exchange for using that ability. Uh-oh, uh I can hear it. I gotta get out. Alright, well. 
With that said and done, guys, though, that is going to be it for now. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta.